This sign means A. Stop. B. Merge. C. Upcoming change in direction. A. Stop. An eight-sided red sign means stop. If you become drowsy while driving, you should A. Try to fight it. B. Take a break. C. Take some caffeine pills. B. Take a break. If you start to feel tired while driving, drive to the first available rest stop or service area to take a break, nap, stretch, or change drivers. You should not rely on caffeine pills or energy drinks, as these are not a replacement for rest and may make your driving even more dangerous. If you are involved in an accident, one of the immediate requirements is to A. Render aid to the injured. B. Notify your insurance agent. C. Notify the Secretary of State's office. A. Render aid to the injured. Do not assume that a person is not injured simply because that person says they are not. Send for professional help as soon as possible. Roads are slippery after it first starts to rain. When the road is slippery, you should A. Avoid making turns and stops while driving at high speeds. B. Test your tire's traction while going uphill. C. Decrease the distance you look ahead of your vehicle. A. Avoid making turns and stops while driving at high speeds. A wet, slippery road does not allow your tires the traction they need, so it is necessary to drive more slowly on a wet road than you would on a dry road. To reduce the risk of skidding, you should avoid fast turns or stops. What is the purpose of rumble strips? A. They alert drivers to potential tire problems. B. They test a vehicle's shock absorbers. C. Through vibration and sound, they alert inattentive drivers to the fact that their vehicles have left the travel lane. C. Through vibration and sound, they alert inattentive drivers to the fact that their vehicles have left the travel lane. Rumble strips create noise and vibrations to warn drowsy or inattentive drivers that they are straying off of the road or are approaching a stop sign or signal. This road sign means A. Road construction ahead. B. The road ahead curves left then right. C. The road ahead curves right then left. C. The road ahead curves right then left. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign warns drivers that the upcoming road will curve right, followed by a curve to the left. Drivers should adjust their speed to safely continue on the road. What message will be found on this yellow pennant shaped sign? A. Right turns only. B. Right turns permitted. C. No passing zone. C. No passing zone. Pennant shaped yellow signs like this are used to indicate a no passing zone. This sign means, A. No left turn can be made here. B. A left turn can be made only after stopping. C. All traffic must turn right at the next intersection. A. No left turn can be made here. Signs with a red circle and diagonal line over a black symbol indicate that the action represented by the symbol is prohibited. In this case, the sign indicates that left turns are prohibited. This road sign means A. School crossing B. Pedestrian crossing C. Jogging trail B. Pedestrian crossing Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign indicates the presence of a crosswalk, regardless of if it is marked on the pavement or not. Upon seeing this sign, you should be alert and allow any pedestrians to cross the road safely. This sign means A. Watch for bicycles B. Bicycles not allowed C. Bicycle repair shop ahead 
A. Watch for bicycles. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. Warning signs may alert drivers to areas where animals, people, and vehicles are likely to cross traffic. If you see a pedestrian using a guide dog or carrying a white cane, A. The pedestrian must yield the right of way. B. You must yield the right of way. C. Honk your horn to let them know you are there. B. You must yield the right of way. Blind or partially blind pedestrians may carry a white cane or use the assistance of a guide dog. You must yield the right of way to a pedestrian with a guide dog or a white cane. This red and white sign means you should A. Stop and check for traffic coming from both directions before proceeding. B. Give the right of way to traffic on the road you wish to enter or cross. C. Maintain a steady speed and check for traffic coming from all directions. B. Give the right of way to traffic on the road you wish to enter or cross. A three-sided yield sign indicates that you must slow down and be ready to stop, if necessary, to let any vehicle, bicyclist, or pedestrian pass before you proceed. In this case, you do not have the right of way. This sign means, A. Cars on the right move first. B. You have the right of way. C. Let cross traffic pass before proceeding. C. Let cross traffic pass before proceeding. When approaching this sign, you must yield the right of way. Slow down and let vehicles and pedestrians crossing your path pass before you proceed. If necessary, stop before going ahead. When driving behind another vehicle at night, you should a. Keep your headlights on the low beam setting. B. Use your high beam headlights until you are within 10 feet of the vehicle ahead. C. Use your high beam headlights. A. Keep your headlights on the low beam setting. Use high beam headlights only when driving in rural areas and when other cars are not nearby. Lower your headlights to their low beam setting when you are following closely behind another driver. If a tire suddenly blows out while you are driving, you should A. Grip the steering wheel firmly, slow down, and exit the traffic lane. B. Pump the brakes rapidly. C. Brake hard and steer toward the right edge of the roadway. A. Grip the steering wheel firmly, slow down, and exit the traffic lane. If you experience a sudden tire blowout, do not panic. Grasp the steering wheel firmly and take your foot off the accelerator to allow the vehicle to roll to a stop. Lightly apply the brakes when it is safe to do so. Do not move to the shoulder of the road until the car has slowed considerably. If there is no crosswalk and you see a pedestrian crossing your lane, you should A. Make sure the pedestrian can see you before proceeding. B. Cautiously drive around the pedestrian. C. Stop and let the pedestrian finish crossing. C. Stop and let the pedestrian finish crossing. Drivers must always yield the right of way to pedestrians in the roadway, even if there is not a marked crosswalk. If you come to a railroad crossing with lowered gates and flashing warning lights, you should A. Drive around the crossing gates if you can't see a train. B. Come to a complete stop well behind the gates, wait for the tracks to clear, and proceed once the gates are lifted. C. Slow down and drive around the gates. B. Come to a complete stop well behind the gates, wait for the tracks to clear, and proceed once the gates are lifted. You must stop at a railroad crossing where signs, warning devices, or flaggers warn you of the presence of a train. It is illegal to drive around lowered gates. Signs with orange backgrounds are A. General warning signs B. Construction and maintenance warning signs C. Regulatory signs B. Construction and Maintenance Warning Signs 
The color orange is used only for construction and maintenance warning signs. Driving more slowly than surrounding traffic is? A. A good idea if the weather is bad. B. Appropriate if you don't know the speed limit. C. Often a hazard because other drivers may become frustrated and try to pass you. C. Often a hazard because other drivers may become frustrated and try to pass you. Driving more slowly than other traffic can be dangerous. Drivers behind you may become impatient and will be tempted to take dangerous risks to pass you. Which of the following driving skills is, are affected by the use of alcohol and or drugs? A. Alertness. B. Coordination. C. Both of the above. C. Both of the above. Alcohol and other drugs can negatively affect a number of skills needed for safe driving, including a driver's reaction time, coordination, alertness, and ability to concentrate. This road sign means A. Flagger ahead. B. Turn left at the intersection. C. Last turn before a toll road. A. Flagger ahead. Orange is the standard color for work zone activity. If you see orange signs, cones, or barrels while driving, stay alert and be prepared for unexpected driving conditions. This sign alerts drivers to an upcoming flagger whose directions should be obeyed by all drivers. This road sign means A. Sharp right turn ahead. B. A road joins from the right. C. The road ahead turns sharply right then sharply left. C. The road ahead turns sharply right then sharply left. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign indicates that the road ahead will turn sharply to the right and then sharply to the left. When a school bus is picking up or dropping off children, you must A. Stop, regardless of your direction of travel. B. Stop if you are driving in the same direction. C. Slow down and be prepared to stop. A. Stop, regardless of your direction of travel. When approaching a school bus that is picking up or dropping off passengers, you must come to a complete stop before reaching the bus, regardless of your direction of travel. This road sign means A. No right turn. B. No U-turns. C. No left turn. A. No right turn. Regulatory signs provide notice to road users of traffic laws and must be obeyed. Where this sign is posted, making a right turn is prohibited. This white sign means, A. The railroad crossing is controlled. Continue at your regular speed. B. Look, listen, and prepare to stop at the crossing if necessary. C. Stop at the railroad tracks and wait for a signal before crossing. B. Look, listen, and prepare to stop at the crossing if necessary. When approaching a railroad crossing, you must look, listen, slow down, and prepare to stop. Let any trains pass before you proceed. Extra space in front of a large truck is needed for a. Other drivers to merge onto the freeway. B. The truck driver to stop the vehicle. C. Other drivers when they want to slow down. B. The truck driver to stop the vehicle. Because they are larger, trucks take longer to stop than cars traveling at the same speed. Other drivers should not pull in front of a truck and then slow down or stop. This sign means, A. One-way traffic. B. Intersection ahead. C. Merging traffic from the right. C. Merging traffic from the right. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. They alert you to conditions that are immediately ahead. This sign tells drivers to prepare to allow traffic to safely merge from the right. 
If you are facing a green traffic light but the intersection ahead is blocked by traffic, you should A. Turn left and find another route. B. Stay out of the intersection until traffic clears. C. Follow the other vehicles and enter the intersection. B. Stay out of the intersection until traffic clears. Even if you are facing a green traffic light, do not start across the intersection if there are other vehicles blocking your way. If you are caught in the intersection when the light changes to red, your vehicle will block cross traffic. You can get a ticket for blocking an intersection. This sign is a A. Service sign B. Regulatory sign C. Warning sign C. Warning sign Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. They alert you to conditions that are immediately ahead. There may be an upcoming change in traffic direction, a steep downgrade, or another potentially hazardous situation that requires action on the part of the driver. If weather or light conditions require you to have your lights on while driving, A. Use your parking lights. B. Use your high beams. C. Use your low beams. C. Use your low beams. Use your low beam headlights when driving in foggy, snowy, or rainy conditions. Light from high beam headlights will reflect back, causing glare and making it even more difficult to see ahead. Which of these statements is true about drugs and driving? A. Any prescription drug is safe to use if you don't feel drowsy. B. Even over-the-counter drugs can impair your driving. C. Only illegal drugs can impair your driving. B. Even over-the-counter drugs can impair your driving. Legal prescription and over-the-counter drugs can impair your ability to drive, including drugs taken for colds, hay fever, allergies, or to calm nerves or muscles. It is illegal to drive while under the influence of any drug that impairs your ability to drive safely, this law does not differentiate between illegal, prescription, or over-the-counter drugs. At a school crossing sign, you should A. Always stop, whether there is a stop sign or not. B. Watch for children and be ready to stop. C. Always sound your horn when you see children. B. Watch for children and be ready to stop. Pentagonal signs mean you are approaching a school zone and or school crossing. When you see these signs, be alert and prepare to stop. This road sign means A. Do not enter. B. Roundabout ahead. C. No U-turns. C. No U-turns. Regulatory signs provide notice to road users of traffic laws that must be obeyed. This sign tells drivers that it is prohibited to make a U-turn. This sign means A. Two-way traffic. B. Change in direction ahead. C. School zone and crossing. A. Two-way traffic. This sign informs drivers that they are leaving a divided roadway and approaching a two-way highway. This road sign means A. Sharp turn to the right ahead. B. Upcoming sharp left and right turns. C. Winding road ahead. C. Winding road ahead. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign warns the driver that there is an upcoming winding road. Speed should be adjusted appropriately. It is very foggy. You should slow down and A. Turn on your emergency flashers. B. Turn your lights to their high beam setting. C. Turn your lights to their low beam setting. C. Turn your lights to their low beam setting. Use your low beams when driving in fog, snow, rain, or mist. Light from high beams will reflect off of precipitation, causing a glare and making it even more difficult to see.
Some vehicles are equipped with fog lights that should be used in addition to low beam headlights. This road sign means A. No right turn. B. Drive only in the direction of the arrow. C. Curve ahead. B. Drive only in the direction of the arrow. Regulatory signs provide notice to road users of traffic laws that must be obeyed. Where this sign is present, drivers must drive in the direction indicated by the arrow. If you parallel park facing downward on a hill, A. Turn your wheels sharply toward the side of the road. B. Turn your wheels away from the side of the road. C. Keep your wheels straight. A. Turn your wheels sharply toward the side of the road. When parking downhill, turn your front wheels toward the curb or edge of the road. When parking uphill on a road without a curb, turn your wheels toward the edge of the road. When parking uphill on a road with a curb, you must turn your front wheels away from the curb. To see objects in their blind spot when changing lanes, drivers should check A. Only the left outside mirror. B. Over their left or right shoulder. C. Only the inside rearview mirror. B. Over their left or right shoulder. Your vehicle's blind spots are the areas that you cannot see in your mirrors. Look over the appropriate shoulder to check your blind spot when changing lanes. The amount of alcohol in the blood is referred to as A. Implied consent IC B. Blood alcohol concentration BAC C. Rate of alcohol consumption RAC B. Blood alcohol concentration BAC Blood alcohol concentration BAC, is a measurement of the percentage of alcohol in the blood. The higher the BAC number, the more impaired a person is.